to get out more. I'm gonna lose some color. I'm a shift worker. <laughs> <laughs> I prefer the night shift too. I make a killing. Chilling like a villain. Where's Mario? I feel wrong. I butchered the f. <laughs> oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>
So right off to the side there. I think you should have one. I can only eat oh, the that Cheeto. Bowl's gonna throw your green screen in all. Sure, have a chip. <laughs> yeah, it's the opposite when you're looking at the camera. <laughs> you know, <it's> <laughs> <laughs> in his nose. <laughs> <laughs> Mikey, I. <laughs> Sorry. Mikey, only that. Drinky. Next one on the list is Splatterhouse. Splatterhouse, the one that we played on the PlayStation 3. Yes. One, there's a video out already. Yes. Had a lot of fun with it. Oh, yeah. A lot of blood, a lot of gore. The music in it was awesome. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, your face. Oh, yeah. Oh. 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 Nice! Oh. Ready for more? What was that? His lungs. Hey. Pick up weapon. Press like down. It. Oh, it's... Oh, you're here. Oh. Oh. This one's not going to be for the kids. No. <laughs> oh, I'm going to hit you with my... My boomstick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at the talking fish on That's the wall. just messed up. Come that here. Come awesome. here. Batter up. Oh, here. Oh, oh, he hit the screen. Oh, oh that's awesome. Yes. Not suitable for the children. Not suitable for no. children. A lot of swearing, a lot of blood and gore and uh some and maybe even some brief nudity we just haven't gotten into it yet better nope that's true yeah. <laughs> definitely want to play more of that game mm -hmm. that's fun no matter what time of the year it is. you just want to find the rest of the pictures yes pick up anything else Oh, oh, you found a piece of corn. Ooh, I picture that's a Playboy. Ah! Well, she was definitely in the shower. This is this is like uh, a scene from uh, the movie Major. Was it Major League? Where they keep peeling off and you get a piece. He's the one. Oh there. So yeah. It motivates yeah. you to get in there. She's in the shower. I know she's. I'm getting all these. How pictures. what? How am I going to be motivated to play this? Yeah, the game looked really cool. I never had. I never had a chance to play it. Yeah. But it's fun, easy to pick up. Yeah. yeah, you just walk around, kill a bunch of stuff. And oh blood yeah, flying everywhere. It's nothing you go you're wrong. gonna get stressed out about while playing. It's not gonna scare you, but it is just blood and intense amounts of it. It's awesome, and I could even play it. So it was totally awesome. And it's a awesome. cheap, cheap game. You yeah. can pick that up. Mm -hmm. I... Anywhere for probably five, ten bucks. Five, ten bucks. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. Yeah, I liked it. All right, another one we're gonna talk about is the Blair Witch. Or is this Sleepy Witch? Or the Sleepy Witch. Dennis and I played through, well, we haven't played all the way through the game. We are probably, what, at least five hours into it? Yeah, mm -hmm. four to five hours into it, I yeah. think. Um, I've been up and down on whether I like the game or not. We first started playing the game as that typical Blair Witch lost in the woods. Mm -hmm. And you walk around and you walk around and you walk around and every path you take brings you right back to the same campsite. What about every move you make? Yeah, every breath I take. <laughs> <laughs> but after we figured out that the uh, the video cassette you have on your, your little camcorder yeah. back yeah. then, right? Yeah. You had to stand in the exact same spot as the video was taken, and then you pre replay that video, then it'll start up the next sequence in the game. So we did get lost, and we lot wasted a lot of time at first. Yeah. And about an hour and a half into it, I was like, oh, this game sucks. And then we figured that out, and it started getting really good. Yeah. The first night, you know, at the end of the first night, I was like, yeah, that, that, that was definitely worth playing. Yeah, because at a certain point, I mean, we had goosebumps playing it. Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. we were like, this is pretty freaky. Yeah. But then the second night, the second night, what made it creepy and what I enjoyed, it seemed to take it too far. The, the character that you're playing in the game has PTSD. They're trying to simulate how that would be. The sounds would be overwhelming. You know, yeah. lights and everything. And the thing that made it good when we first started up 
just became a lot. Became too much. Yeah. And I don't know if it's time. because <laughs> of the big TV in the room and the surround sound, but it it was just almost too much. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I know. Enjoy it was just it was chaotic at that point. I still want to sit down and play some more of it and see where it goes. You know? See if it gets better. Yeah. Yeah. I think a third a third sit down would. Yeah. Because yeah. The first time awesome. Second yeah. time. But it could be just a lull in the game. Yeah, it could, be. In there. it could be. That happens. Oh, one we don't have on this list. That you just, just read my mind. Oh my god! Yeah. Let's see how to go. We're gonna do that at the end. <laughs> okay. Remember that. I will. All right. I'll forget. Okay. Whisper it in my ear. <laughs> 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 Next on the list is a game that Dennis brought over. Yeah. Dead Island. I wish we would have played more of this. I was really enjoying it. Fun zombie game. It. Dennis, go ahead. This is one that you're going to take over. You're going to man this one. Yeah. Describe I it. I love Dead Island. No. I was looking for a game to get. I mean, this was years ago. And I kept looking at, like, top games and whatnot. And I keep seeing that Dead Island. And I've seen it in the stores. It was like... Uh, game of the year edition so i thought yeah hey why not give it a shot i mean it wasn't expensive i picked it up and i put it in and all of a sudden i started to play and it was like first person and i was like ah, i don't know about this walking around all you can do is like kind of swing around because you were used to more of a third, third person. person view yeah like yeah and it, i've never been like a first person shooter type of guy and i was like I don't know about this, but I had nothing else to play. Doesn't give you the option to switch to... No, 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 not at all. So I said, well, I'll, I'll keep playing it. And I'm walking around, I'm doing all this stuff, and then all of a sudden, like, you get this guy on the radio talking to you, and he says, hey, go this place and go that place. And I'm all right, whatever, I don't know who this guy is. <laughs> followed him, followed his directions, and all of a sudden there's <laughs> zombie shadows in the background, and you're looking at it, and it's like, holy crap, like... It's gonna hit the fan, and all of a sudden he says, "They're coming! You gotta run!" You start running, you go high, and all of a sudden the game starts. You gotta go rescue this guy, and all of a sudden the doors yep. open up, and there's like 20 zombies, and they're all after you, and you you got a an oar, a stupid paddle to roll your <laughs> boat, and you're smacking them. It was just cool. It was chaos. I loved it. Like I honestly, that was. The, the game that you brought over, of all the games you brought over, that was the one I wanted to see more gameplay of. Yeah, I, I really I, enjoyed it. I mean, I started playing it and I didn't want to, I didn't want to stop. Yeah. Like, I, you get into it and right off the start, you don't have the best weapons. No. Nope. You're and just that's picking how it up, should be. Like little crowbars and paddles and sticks. But and one of the best features of the game was the ability to put Combine your weapons to make like super weapons there kind of right. Oh, yeah You yeah. go what they call this workbench and Basically as you're going through the game you pick up different items like saws and batteries and Lots of different stuff and you can combine it with your weapons to make them stronger and more effective And I know we've discussed it before where I had a baseball bat and I combined it with a circular saw. Oh yeah. And I was just chopping <laughs> zombies' heads off. And, and it that was, was in so Dead Island. Cool. Yeah, it was Dead oh, Island. Okay, I know you said that was your favorite weapon in a po uh, previous video, but I didn't know it was. Oh weapon. yeah, it was That's Dead Island. And other things you can do, you can combine it with a battery, and then you can electrocute the zombies oh, or set them on fire. Like it's just neat. It's I really enjoyed it. It's a fun one. It's oh, not yeah. kind of scary. I loved it. It's not overly gruesome. It, it's no. got a fair amount of action, but it's a fun one. Yeah. And it's zombies. No and yeah. it's zombies. Exactly. You can't go wrong with zombies. I don't think so. Yeah. Next game, Silent Hill Downpour. Another game that Dennis brought over thought we should play. I wasn't like a huge fan of this game. Really? You have to be... I liked it. <laughs> you have to be a Silent Hill fan, I think to enjoy Downpour. Like if Maybe. you've never played any Silent Hill games and you pick up Silent Hill Downpour, you might not enjoy it. Like, Maybe. 
It, it, it's different. It's got a different feel to it. I find it very choppy at times. Yeah. But I still played through it probably like four times. I like just, that. We, we did have somebody else comment on the Splatterhouse gameplay mm -hmm. saying that Silent Hill Downpour was another great game that we should try. Yes. Um, I wish we would have played more of that too because I wanted to see mm -hmm. more monsters. Yeah, well, really as you're playing through it, there's only really two different types of monsters that you encounter. Mm -hmm. We've seen one where it's these, I don't know, screaming, yes, whatever, and they, and they, they scream and, and then run. they kind of hurt your ears. And they're kind of creepy. And it makes everything shake. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, they're, they're kind of creepy, but there's these other guys. And they just, oh, they give me the heebie jeebies. I see them and they're just standing there and they're like, oh. <laughs> it freaks me out. I'm looking at you on the screen now. Every time I see them, it freaks me out and it just gives me goosebumps. I'm like, ooh. Like, Which one are the nurses in? Those always. It's freak. either the first or the second. Do you know what I'm talking about? Those nurses that yeah. are just like all messed You're thinking up. Of it from the movie. Oh, oh I yeah, love they, yeah. it. But they're in the game too. Oh yeah, they they. I never they played were... number one, oh. even though I have it. I just haven't played it. Yet. I, I, I after the first one, I was hooked. I yeah. really liked that game. Next game, also another game that Dennis brought over. Yeah. Is Undead Nightmare. This is a game that I actually would want to play more of. I liked that one too. Because the action was awesome. Like, oh yeah, yeah. And yeah. You, uh, you ride into town and there's zombies everywhere and you can either shoot them from your horse or get off the horse and start shooting the zombies as yep. you go. It's awesome, I like it. It was really awesome. Yeah, I definitely would. I'd like to play more of that. And those zombies were fast. Were yeah, like you can, yeah. you can outrun them, but as you're running, you know that they're behind you. And all of a sudden you'll see another person coming you yeah. know, from the left or the right, so you have to shoot them to give yourself some space. But yeah. if you can find a way to go up, then they can't reach and you just go down and you just blast. Oh yeah. Let's go down the list. Now we have a couple of board games. We're gonna talk about these games at the same time. Yeah. First one, Atmosphere. Black Atmosphere. <laughs> That's the atmosphere was supposed to be scary for maybe Nickelodeon. I gatekeepers, <laughs> and I am here to make your lives miserable. Yeah, good luck with that. I see you're all way ahead of me. I've had pimples with better-looking heads. Before ah. we go. <laughs> Let Watch me spit. Which pathetic worms are challenging me? And not that you offer any real challenge. Yeah. Very colorful, rainbowy, corny. Corny! Everything was just terrible. Yeah. Now, yeah. the other game that I would say it's the same game, but better. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The Gatekeeper! I rule this game. And kudos on the makeup, they really went all out. You will obey he gets older as the game goes on, sure. Does he? I think I will too. <laughs> Stop. And you will listen! Oh, sorry. It's the same template, it's the same characters, it's the same style game. But atmosphere, the gameplay I found was a little more polished. It was more polished. Yeah. There was more options for it to be different yeah. because with Nightmare, the board's the board, the video, the VHS is the VHS. Mm -hmm. You can't change that. But what made Atmosphere better was the mini games. Yes. Yes. And also that it just it would change up the role the gameplay. Yeah, it would just yeah. change things up so everything wouldn't pop up at the same time as in Nightmare. Like you can learn it. Yeah, you learn it. You memorized it. I did. Um, but Nightmare did have that, I will say scary. Yeah, like if you would have played it as a, a like, kid. I didn't know, find it scary at all. Yes, I did no. not find it scary. Yeah, it's it was called so Nightmare. Hard to scare him. Jump scare compilation. Uh-huh. Yeah, go check it out. Yeah. It's worth it. <laughs> yeah, you want I've to said laugh? things. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Things were done to me. Things were said. <laughs> Feelings were hurt. Yeah. I had to get more underwear. Yeah. <laughs> so Nightmare scared me. 
and atmosphere was I don't know I don't know if they tried too hard like even the actor that was the gatekeeper oh, God, I don't like it was that. just cheesy yeah <laughs> it was really just cheesy. really like I call on Gavord and Asher. Uh, yes, gatekeeper. You hear the old hound dog? Who's a good doggy? Yeah? You are. <laughs> yes, I give you a bone. Just I'll give you a bone. <laughs> you know, I think werewolves are misunderstood. Uh -huh. But maybe because they only talk in grunts and growls. That uh -huh. and they're stupid, of course. So I. You just wanted to like. You just wanted to make fun of me, one, I guess so. I would rather the scary board game. It was game. the CGI was very oh for, cartoony. For, yeah, well, for these days, it's very very yes corny. Yeah, we could have done a scarier game. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. For sure. Yep. Yeah. All right. Now for the board no. game stuff. <laughs> Uh, we're going to talk about Parasite Eve for the PlayStation 1. Uh, one of my favorite games ever. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's uh, kind of a survival horror RPG style. Yes. That's just rattling that off the top the of my head. It has kind of aspects of all of those genres. It does, yeah. The only problem with that is I don't know that many people that have never played it before would pick it up and think, wow, I really love this game. That's the thing. I think I have a lot of nostalgia. Uh, yeah. The graphics I, are just... I would love to see a remake. Oh my god. That eh? and Fatal Frame. Both yeah, those they would games both be remade good. like they did with Resident Evil 2. Wow. I think if either one of those games were remade, Fatal Frame or Parasite Eve, they would be creepy oh. AF. Oh yeah. Yeah. Can you imagine like putting that camera up to take a picture and you're like, no, it's all good. And you take it down, the ghost is right in front right of you. Your and face. You... Oh yeah. That's all my ears. One more game. One more game. Probably my favorite Halloween jump scare kind of game. We're talking about Resident Evil Biohazard. Yeah, I don't think there's a person in this room that hasn't jumped. True. Yeah. <laughs> we can put some gameplay up there. Oh, and especially, God. Well, I needed some game capture for this video. Yeah. So I challenged this princess here to do it. And it was comedic at best. Oh, my God. Guys, <laughs> I love watching a good scary game. That is my favorite. Like, if you say you're going to play a scary game, be like, can I come over? And you're going to be like, lady in the mall, we don't know you. Please go home. <laughs> but I love watching a good scary game. I can't play them. It's not my thing. No! Oh, no! 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 You could play that game, I think, once a year for quite a few years and forget about the oh jump scares God. that happen in that game. Well, I forgot about that part. I did too, and I had seen it Where she two levitated. Oh. Because I remember you're saying, yeah. you're setting me up, you should go scare me. No, just go pick up the knife. So you didn't really remember? I didn't remember. Because I could have swore to God, when we showed Alex and he laughed and laughed, yeah. I was like, and Dennis set me up. He set me up. He told me to go check that, and I, I knew. No, I 
I didn't. I forgot about that. I actually forgot about it, and I think that was the third oh, time I've seen man. that part of the game. I played through it, Dennis played through it, and then you were playing through it, the game capture. It was... And I still forgot about it. Terrifying. But, but when you were trying to go down the stairs, I knew what was going on there. I remembered that. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that kind of, too. I knew something was coming yeah. up the stairs at me. I... I... Uh, <sighs> I can't go down there. Can you do it? No, you can do it. I like really can't. There's a, it's just the gatekeeper. I'm not keeper. even like it's the gatekeeper. Gate He's not even scared okay. anymore. Come on, you maggot! If you want to, you maggot! Oh, this is ridiculous. It took you an hour and a half to go down the stairs. I, yes. I just kept backing up with my character. I'm not going there. I I'm not going with the character. I'm like, nope, out, right. I'm out. For our last game of our spooky Halloween edition is going to be Ghostbusters, the remastered edition. We're literally going to go play it as soon as we're done. Yes. So I hope it's good. Me too. But Me Ghostbusters, too. the movie, is one of the best Halloween movies, or at it least... It is the Halloween movie. Yeah. The no, movie. there's a Halloween movie. I'm in it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. A lot. A Who lot. are you? I'm Michael Myers. Oh, I thought you were William Shatner. I thought you were Richard Nixon. <laughs> I'm whoever scares you. <laughs> I'm the boogeyman. <laughs> With that complexion, you could be. Uh, yeah. So, if you like this kind of stuff, and if you like these videos, hit that like button. We'll know. We'll keep making them. Yeah. We'll and do if some you know. compilation stuff. Oh. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's not good. Yeah. Or if that doesn't scare you, we'll send you the princess. <laughs> you should see me when I wake up in the morning. <laughs> oh, 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 no princess. I'll tell you that. <laughs> If you're a, if you're not a subscriber, hit that subscribe button, and then click the notification bell to get all our new videos yes. every Tuesday and Friday at 1 p.m. Atlantic time, right? Yes. Yeah, got it right. Yay! Yay! Is there anything else? Comment. Yeah. Lots of comments. Mm -hmm. This is how we. We go. read them all. Yeah, and we get a lot of our, our video ideas from some of the exactly. comments. Exactly. So, yeah. So if you want to see something. Let us know. Let us know. Yeah. Sure. sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Until next time, people. Enjoy Halloween. Keep killing. <laughs> oh. Very spooky. That mask up is hot. Oh I'm my god. I'm sweating like a. Is there both sides? Paint in my beard. And your sweat pack. Is there paint in my beard? No. Good. Oh. I look better with the mask on. <laughs> yeah.